everybody, this is Dr. Zeev Simon here, and if you caught my last email and video, we delved into the world of forceps and why understanding tip design is a game changer. Now, my goal for you is simple. I want you to have an extraction plan for every tooth, like a well-crafted recipe. And I'm putting together the finishing touches on a resource that'll be your extraction guide, but more on that a little bit later. Today, I want to share a bit about splitting teeth and the secrets of using the right burr. Did you ever wonder why we need to split between roots? Well, molars are like anchors in the jaw and each root has its own unique angulation and shape. And we all know that delivering an upper or lower molar without splitting often leads to buckle plate breakage or root fractures. To split successfully, we need to know the cross-section anatomy of the roots, the very anatomy we're trying to split. So let's start with a lower molar. So the bird that I'm using is a 701 long, and I section from buccal to lingual at the frucation level, and I progress towards the lingual. But before you finish the complete section, stop, take a mirror look at the view of the occlusal surface, see how far you have until complete sectioning of the roots and then go back and complete the sectioning. Why do we do that? I want you to stop right before you finish so you don't section the lingual bone and the tissue. Now on to upper molars. First review the cross section of the roots. We have two buccal roots and one palatal root and in that trifurcation we are going to separate between the three roots to facilitate the extraction because each root will have its own path of exit. There are two types of splits, the T split and the Y split, like the letters T and Y. And there is a distinct difference between the two, although they both do the same. They both split between the three roots, but there is a different indication. The Y split starts off by splitting between the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal root. After the buccal roots, and once we reach the trifurcation, we proceed diagonally towards the palate to separate the palatal root. Why diagonal? We do it diagonally because we want to bypass the adjacent teeth. If you don't go diagonally, you're going to damage the adjacent tooth, the contact area. If there are no adjacent teeth, then you can choose a T-split. You start the exact same. You split between the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal roots. And at the trifurcation, you continue at a 90 degree angle in a perpendicular direction. And you're creating that shape of the letter T. And voila, the roots are separated. Now there's a lot more to learn about extraction of upper and lower molars and splitting roots and creating bone cuts around roots. I'm holding back some of that information and saving it for upcoming training on how to extract broken teeth where I'm going to share different steps of extractions and spill the beans on the extraction plans. And I want you to have an extraction plan and be prepared for an extraction of every tooth in the mouth. So keep an eye out for that invitation. I want you to have confidence and clarity about extractions and the extraction plans. This is Dr. Zeev Simon signing off.